Hey folks, this is Daniel from Birdwings.com. Today with a brand new episode of Birdwings TV. In this episode, I want to talk about the Minolta High Speed AF HBO 400mm f4.5. This video is the first we uh, review of the Minolta lens on YouTube. So, this lens was built for sports and wildlife photographers years ago. It's a bit an old lens, but still very usable. And one good reason to use this lens is, it has a fast aperture of f4.5. That's crazy. So, what else uh, get you when you buy this lens? You get a capability to attach a teleconverter on this lens and use the AF completely. That means the AF is still usable even when you attach it to it. <laughs> Why I'm saying this is some Sony lenses has not the capability to use the AF when you attach a teleconverter. So that's a really plus to the lens. Another plus is the solid build to it. This lens is built completely of metal. I guess it's aluminium. So it is very durable, even if it has no weather or dust resistant. A little bit of disadvantage of using this lens is you cannot um, use common drop-in filters. Use, as you can see here, you have drop-in filters, but they are really rare on the market, so it's hard to find one. And even if you find one, maybe for example a pole filter, you cannot turn it. Here is a little function to turn something but I never find out what it's for maybe one of you can help me out with that but yeah I don't know the function of this dial so another good thing about this lens is the fast AF speed it's not as good as the G72400 version 2 but better way better than the version 1 and the Tamron 100 50 to 600 or the Sigma 150 to 600 I play with with all the lens and the Minolta is very very fast and accurate. I shoot with this lens birds only and even when I attach a teleconverter to it it's very accurate accurate and fast and, and does a very very good job so it's a very big, big plus to have a good AF Another big plus is the sharpness of the lens. Keep in mind this is an old lens so it has no coating or stuff like that. But the sharpness is still very very good and usable for sure. It's not as good as the G70-400 and the version 2 but better than the Tamron or the Sigma. So you have to make for sure some some decisions what, what do you want to use it for and what's what's your priority AF or sharpness or whatever but I guess it's a, it's a good all-arounder even with the capability to attach a teleconverter on it and have the full benefit of using the AF with the teleconverter yeah that's that's it uh, it has a, I want to say at last it has a good AF a good build quality the, the sharpness is a bit better with when with with a APC side sensor cameras. Uh, I tested out with the Alpha 77 Mark II, which I'm filling, which I'm filling right now. So, yeah, it's a really good lens. And at last, the price point is around two thousand eight hundred dollars to two thousand two hundred dollars. So, yeah, that's maybe a high price for an old lens like this, but it's. It's a really professional lens, it looks very great, it has a solid build, fast AF, okay, I already said that, but yeah. Leave me a comment if you use this lens, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I hope I see you in the next episode of Birdwings TV. See ya!